hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a long-term protective hairstyle and i'm also going to be showing you guys how i do that so first off i had my cousin do my patterns off camera because i'm doing something a little bit different and this is going to be my longest protective hairstyle ever so i'm trying out something new so i needed my patterns to be precise because i need to have more time like my hair being out for like a few weeks before i have to use whatever scarves or wigs or anything so straight off i've already done my routine like i've already done my full hair routine my hair prep for this protective hairstyle definitely going to link that in the description box so now i'm just making sure that my hair is a little bit moisturized because my hair was getting dry so i just went in with a little bit of water you can also go in with conditioner if you want to but i don't want con like any more conditioner in my hair because i already have some i'm just activating it again so now what i'm doing is a flat twist so i really love this protective hairstyle because it's very very good for my type of hair strands i have a fine hair strand and cornrows don't work for my particular hair because it's more like the manipulation to put it in is a lot more than doing flat twist and i noticed that my hair thrives more on flat twist and i recently saw a video on my fave natural hair content creator saying how she was able to retain more length is putting her hair in chunky flat twist for three months because the way you can increase or retain hair length is by reducing manipulation and break and your hair breaking like hair breakage so what other way than just putting in a long-term protective hairstyle i think I'm, I'm going to try this out and i'm definitely going to film like the whole journey how i take care of it how what i do so that if you're struggling with like your hair getting past a certain length you might look into putting in a long-term protective hairstyle like a flat twist and i'm also going to be showing you guys um what i do to my flat twists how i take care of them what other wigs or what other things you can do because you obviously get tired after like three months on doing this particular protective hairstyle because i noticed that she wears synthetic wigs and she does it in a way that it looks so good so i'm going to be trying out different things like i'm going to bring you guys along the journey and also i'm going to show you guys how i basically do a flat twist i have a more detailed video on this but i'm just going to explain it the best way i can so how i do my flat twist is that i do it according to how i twist my hair because i didn't learn this from anybody so i just imagine twisting my hair but doing it like i'm doing cornrows so you know how you do cornrows you're feeding in your braid the same way you're feeding in your twist if you do if you do a right twist you can just twist your hair towards that right direction but me i do right twist i don't have to do left twist well so whatever way you twist your hair just do it in a flat like you're doing a, your cornrows and just be feeding into that braid so when you twist it towards that direction you get a little bit more hair and feed into that particular like um because this two strand twist so just be feeding it into the individual twist you can see the way i'm doing like i'm feeding in to that particular twist i'm moving along the length of my hair that's the way i do my flat twist which is like which i didn't learn it from anybody i just tried it out so it got a, like i'm not going to lie this process was um really really <laughs> your hands are going to pain you if you've done your protective hairstyle mostly just take breaks because it can get frustrating and also if you get frustrated it's best to just take a break because this is a low manipulation hairstyle but if you're not careful you can easily like break your hair or like get frustrated and just snap at your hair and your hair is going to break so what i suggest is always using like using a spray bottle first off because i love using spray bottles to just give my hair a little bit more sleep then i go in with my fingers like i do a little bit of finger detangling if i feel any knots then after that you can always go in with conditioner if you want or creams or whatever works for you but i love just using water because i'm putting in a long-term protective hairstyle and i'm trying to avoid build-ups so i don't want to go in with conditioners because they are thick and they can clog up my scalp or my pores and if i put a lot of conditioner on my scalp it can lead to like 
a little bit of flakiness or dandruff like it doesn't work well on my scalp so i just put my conditioners on my hair which i've already done like i've done a full protective hairstyle prep already so i don't really need to do all of that again that's why i'm just going in with water and it's like the best moisturizer so i'm going to leave this video to play out if i have any other thing to say one thing i will say is that doing this particular protective hairstyle is like is the first time i'm doing a very long-term protective hairstyle if anyone like really knows me in school i don't keep like before i used to keep my hair for three weeks then i switched off because i don't like my i don't like my hair like my hairstyle staying long because i like to change my look every single time but with natural hair i'm learning patience and i'm also learning that if i want to reach like my particular hair length goal or i want to see my hair being healthy there are some sacrifices i have to make but even though you're making these sacrifices i'm going to give you alternative ways you can also rock this flat twist that's the reason why i'm adding a little bit of style to it instead of making it like just straight back i'm doing like a little bit more of like a zigzag type of cut just for me to be able to rock it for a little while what also you can also put on this hair you can put like human hair like curly leave out you can make it look cute i did that with my last flat twist that i did i'm going to put it on the screen for you to see but there are lots of things you can do with this hairstyle and when it gets old you can go into scarves you can go into wigs i'm going to try and find like different wigs i can use with this particular hairstyle but in general the main reason why i'm doing this protective hairstyle is to reduce hair breakage and manipulation so that i can be able to retain my hair length because your hair doesn't grow so much there's only so much you can do so you just have to try and retain your particular like whatever growth you're getting you need to try and retain it so that's what i'm mainly doing so i will highly recommend this protective hairstyle i've done it before the last time i did it was more of like a um half flat twist and half twist like the bottom part of my hair were individual twists then the front of my hair was flat twist and i kept that for a month it was so like it it was so good for my hair especially after doing cornrows that really like destroyed my edges so i would highly recommend flat twist and we're finally almost done i found it a little bit more difficult to do the back of my hair so if you're having troubles with that you can always get like someone to help you out or they can look at what you're doing to just make sure that it's good but i ended up getting a little bit of help at the back of my hair because when i was done it was a little bit too loose because i wasn't like getting the last bit well but we're almost finally done with this protective hairstyle so let me know if you're going to try out this protective hairstyle or if you want to join in on my three month challenge so that we can have accountability partners so after doing this protective hairstyle i love to talk my end in because my ends are the oldest part of my hair i need to take care of them because basically if you don't take care of your ends your hair is going to break you get split ends and you need your ends to be able to retain length that's the one key thing that you should know if your hair is breaking off you're not going to retain length so i went in with water and i'm going in with my herbal oil this oil i made by myself I usually use this on my protective hairstyle because it's lightweight it's literally my carrier oil is olive oil and a little bit of castor oil and my herbs so it's very very lightweight so i can use this on my scalp it doesn't clog up my scalp or any of that so after doing this process i just make sure to massage it a little bit on my scalp just to give my my to just stimulate blood flow and all that good stuff after doing this protective hairstyle just to make sure my scalp isn't dry and if you saw from the beginning i use water first because we don't put oils on dry hair so after this i'm going to go in with my scalp because i'm basically done for the day like i'm not going anywhere so might as well just scarf off my hair so yeah we're coming to the end of this video so i really really hope this video was helpful if you have any questions on this particular protective hairstyle i'll be so happy to answer and i'll also be like giving you like other good protective hairstyles you can try if you can tell i'm not using extensions on my hair for a while so yeah 
I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.